let us pray our God and our Father, we thank you for bringing us together for the Bible study tonight. We thank you because of this great possession, the Bible, the Holy Word of God, you have given to every one of us. It's a great privilege individually as we're able to study your Word and your Spirit enlighten us and teaches us in the Word of God on individual basis. Great are the things to teach us in the treasures of your word when we individually study the word on our own. And yet we know that when we come together like this as a corporate body, and your spirit teaches us in the word of God. We know it's such a great privilege. We pray that tonight as we look into your word together, you'll breathe on this word and enlighten us in the word in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that this word will not just pass by us, but it will do a real good work in every heart listening today in Jesus' name. We pray that your finger will write the very word in every heart in Jesus' name. And from day to day, this word will be like the light in our pathway, so that we will not go astray in Jesus' name. Be with us as we study together now. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank the Lord for bringing us together tonight so that we can study His word together. For some time we have been studying from the book of Genesis. Already we have gone through chapters 1, 2, and 3. Tonight we come to the study of Genesis chapter 4. This chapter we are studying is very essential and very important to our understanding of what happens in the world today many people just read or they study chapter 4 of genesis without knowing the deep application it has to everyone living on the face of the earth today other people quickly read and they pass by not knowing there is anything for them to learn there as we look at genesis chapter 4 today we'll see the account of the lives of cain and abel why should we be interested in studying such a passage of scripture? Because we are told in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. What we're studying today is part of the early scriptures, and it is profitable for doctrine and for reproof and for correction and for instruction in righteousness. In Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, 
that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Nitori on ko ti ati kotele ati ko fuki kwa peni pasuru ati tumi wimima kiale niriti. So then, as we learn about this today, we know that it has some deep lessons for us. For those of us who want to know God, who want to love God, who want to conduct our lives according to the way of God, and who want to follow the Lord step by step, what we're studying today has a very essential teaching for everyone. This chapter 4 we're studying as a very close connection with chapter 3. Genesis In chapter 3, we have seen already the beginning of sin in man. In this chapter 4, we now want to read of the progress and the fruit and the spread of sin in human society. Like leprosy, sin contains contaminates and spreads and issues forth in death. Also we learned that in the last chapter, that is the previous chapter, chapter 3, it was seen against God. But in this chapter, we're looking at the progress of sin and the spreading of sin. It is sin against God and against a fellow man. Shall we read together chapter 4, verses 1 and 2? And Adam knew Eve his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Adam was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. To start with, before we go into the rest of the chapter, we need to learn that Cain and Abel were real people that actually existed at a point in time in history as confirmed to us in the scriptures. We need to understand this because there are some people that will feel that Cain and Abel were not real people. They were not people that were born, that actually lived on the face of the earth. That maybe it is just written like a story to teach us something. Cain and Abel actually lived in this world at a point in time in history. Let us see the New Testament mentions their names. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. As we have the mention of the name of Abel, so we have the mention of the name of Cain. And you will see that many people are mentioned in this Hebrews chapter 11. Enoch was mentioned. Noah was mentioned. Abraham was mentioned. Abraham was mentioned. And Jacob were mentioned. Isaac at Jacob. David was mentioned. Daphidi. Gideon and Samson and Jephthah were mentioned. Gideon at Samson at Jephthah. Samuel was mentioned in particular. Adaruko Samuel in Ipatu. You know that all these other people we read about in Hebrews chapter 11 actually existed and lived.
lived on the face of the earth at a point in time in history. In the same way, Cain and Abel, along with all the other people that are mentioned in this chapter, they lived at a point in time in history. If first John chapter 3, verse 12. First John chapter 3, verse 12. Not as Cain who was of that wicked one and slew his brother as we have the mention of Cain we have the mention of his brother his brother's name is Abel in Jude verse 11 woe unto them for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kore. Now you will see that in this verse 11, Balaam was mentioned. Balaam was the false prophet that lived at a particular time, a point in time in history. Cain also was mentioned in that verse. As Balaam existed, Cain also existed. In Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24. And to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Once again you notice that in this verse two people are mentioned. Jesus as well as Abel. And as Jesus lived at a point in history, in this world at a particular time, so Abel at his own time, he was born into this world, he lived in this world. In Matthew chapter 23 and verse 25. Verse 35. Matthew oriketa le logo ogoji. Here was Jesus Christ himself now talking to the people. Jesus Christ that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah the son of Barakias whom you slew between the temple and the altar so then first of all we learn that Cain and Abel were two people that lived on the face of this earth at a particular time in history. What do we learn from Cain and Abel? Cain and Abel were children of fallen parents. Both of them were born outside the Garden of Eden. Both of them were there for children of all. Both of them, like, like um, Adam and Eve, were separated from God, alienated from God. Both of them had been shaped in iniquity and conceived in sin. That is very important for you and I to understand. That when they were born, they were born at an equal level spiritually. All their parents are falling from grace, are falling from the presence of God. And when they were born, they were born with the sinful nature within them. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 3. And Adam lived 130 years 
and begat a son in his own likeness and after his image. Adam usiwa ni adoji odo osi biya mokoreka ni jijo ati ni awurarare. Remember that before Abel and Cain were born, that the parents had lost the image of God and the likeness of God, the holiness, nature, and the righteousness of God they had lost. Rati pe kiato bi kaini ati abeli awo bi wati padano ipo ti afida wani isha ju wati padano iwa mima ati ododo alano. In Job chapter 14 verse 4. Nini we Jobu ori keni la ese ikeni. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Ta ni ole mu o mima la ti nua imo jade wa kusi ene kan. After Adam and Eve fell from the position where God created them, then Adam and Eve became unclean. As the book Cain and Abel, what the Bible is saying is that no one can bring the clean thing out of an unclean thing. Lay ti Adam wa ti efa ti shubu kuro linu yipo iwa mima ati ododo ti afida wani isha ju. Ti wa ti shubu sinu eshe ati iwa buburu. Ti wa bi kaini ati abeli. Ti wa mesi wiko kusia ni chole muo mima jade la ti nu onwa ima. Cain and Abel from birth wa unclean in the sight of God. Kaini ati abeli je ala ima ni wajolu ala ti bati ati biwa. Job chapter 15 verse 14. Jobu orike dogme se ikeni la. What is man that he should be clean or he that is born of a woman that he should be righteous? E ati she ti afi deni ya lari lodo lono. In application to Cain and Abel, what is Cain? What is Abel? That he, either Cain or Abel, should be clean. Or that he, either Cain or Abel, born of Eve, a woman, should be clean or righteous in the sight of God. The Abalu, you for Caini, at your belly, on your tumors in the way, Tani Caini, Tabia belly, to your lie, ma. In Job chapter 25, verse 4. How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? And in Psalm 51 verse 5 Behold I was shaped in iniquity And in sin did my mother conceive me So then as we learn about Cain and Abel Cain and Abel stood in need of an atoning sacrifice they needed a substitute, a sin bearer. They needed a remedy for sin. They needed a remedy for sin. And this was the very reason of their sacrifices that brought them before the Lord. Already I have read to you in Romans chapter 15 verse 4. That whatever things are written a full time are written for our learning. There is something to learn from the offering of Cain. There is something to learn from the offering of Abel. Because these two people, Cain and Abel, they represent two great classes of people in the world today. Cain represents the lost. He represents the self-righteous. He represents the formal professor of religion. He represents those who rely upon their own words. He represents those who are rejected by God and cursed by God. On the other hand, Abel represents the people that are saved. He represents the broken hearted coming before God in repentance, recognizing that somebody should die, the innocent will die for him that was guilty. He represents the genuine believer. 
he represents those who rest upon the finished work of Christ on the cross of Calvary. Abel represents those who are accepted by God and blessed by God. As we look at what we are studying today, you will see the ultimate difference between Cain and Abel was in the sacrifices they brought. The Abel was accepted because he offered to God the bleeding lamb. Cain was rejected because he offered the fruit of his labor, the fruit of a cursed ground. We'll study three points, and all these three points are very essential, very important. Number one, Abel and the acceptable sacrifice. Number two, Cain and his unacceptable sacrifice. Point three, Cain's sins and punishment. Let's now look at Genesis chapter 4 reading from verse 4. Genesis And Abel, he also brought up the firstlings of his flock and of the part thereof and the lord had respect unto abel Atia, and to his offering ati abeli o n pelu mu ninu akobi ero osin ani ninu awon ti o sanra oluwa si fi oju rere wo abeli ati ore re now you will find that those who don't understand the bible they will say the reason why god accepted the sacrifice of abel is that abel offered a sacrifice to god that was very big and very mighty but cain the reason why cain was rejected is because he came to offer something to god that wasn't big enough so you will find the lay reader or the catechist or the presbyter or the bishop encouraging their people at the time they are going to have their church ceremony on the harvest they say harvest is coming don't bring any offering like the offering of Cain. If you bring little yam, if you bring a little maize, if you bring a little bag of rice, you'll not be accepted like Cain. But if you, like Abel, will bring something very fat and something very great, God will accept you. He will accept your sacrifice. That is not the interpretation of the word of God. <laughs> ati awon bishop ati awon ti o nka bibeli ti o nka ise wimo ninu sosi won bere si gba awon omo ojo won niyan ju pe odun tun ti de o ikore nbo lo na sugbon ni ti ikore odun yi e je ki o je akanse o ma se mu ore bi ti kaini wa o ma se mu isu kekere tabi agbado ti ko jo ni loju tabi a ko re si kekere wa bi ti kaini sugbon je ki ore re da bi ti abeli ki o po you find those who don't understand the Bible at the time of their church ceremony of the bazaar. They will talk to their people. They will say, what are you going to bring? In this ceremony that is coming on. Because if you bring an offering like that of Abel, you bring something very, very big and you bring a large amount of money. When we say it is going, it is going, it is going, gone. Then you you will be the person that will win. They say when you put thousands of naira upon it, then they will refer to Cain. Then they say if you bring a little thing, that will be like a cane and you'll not be able to have anything a blessing from the lord not a strong interpretation of the word of god <laughs> Look at that passport again. And Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Ati Abeli, Unquelumu, Ninua, Cobiano, Sin, and Ninua, what you, Sarah, 
Oluwa si fi oju rere wa beli ati ore re what was the reason why abel's offering was accepted kini di ti ore abeli fi je ite wo gba oh, the new testament tells us very clearly ma je mo tutu so fun wa ni ona ti won kedere hebrews chapter 11 from verse 4 heberu ori kokola lati ese ikere hebrews 11 verse 4 heberu ori kokola ese ikere by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Nipa igbagbo ni Abel iru ebo si Olorun ti o san ju ti Cain lo by which that is by that offering he obtained a witness that he was righteous. Nipa eyi ti eyi ni ni pe nipa iru bo na nipa eyi ti ajeri re pe olododo ni God testified to his gifts and by it he being dead yet speaketh remember verse 6 of this hebrews chapter 11 by faith it is without faith it is impossible to please god for he that come to god must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him the major thing about the offering of Abel was the faith with which he brought it. The faith that I know I'm far away from God, I know I'm rejected by God, I know that I have the sinful nature, I know that I was born by falling parents, but I want to get reconciled unto God. Sile, moje ni tanu ni waju Olorun nitori ese mi ati nitori ede ese ti mo gbe wo nitori na mo mu eyi wa gege bi aroko he knew that he needed a substitute he knew that he needed someone innocent and pure and without any sin that will be killed and and, uh, and slain so that that one will take the place of his own life and bear his own judgment it was that faith that made him to bring the offering before the lord o mo wi pe o ni lo aroko o mo wi pe o ni lo enikan ti yo gba ipo o iru o iru baba si gbodo je pipe ala ilabuku tabi ala ilese ki o ba le je pe idajo ati ebi re yo re koja sori ebo na it was that by that sacrifice and substitute he obtained witness in his heart that he was righteous nipa irubo yi ati aropo yi ni o fi gba eri wi pe o je olododo he wasn't righteous before that time all have seen and come short of the glory of God. He wasn't righteous before that time. He was born by falling parents, and a clean thing cannot come out of an unclean thing. He was not righteous before that time. Because he was born outside the Garden of Eden, outside of fellowship with God. His parents had fallen, and the sinful nature had come into them since birth. Sin was I born in sin? Did my mother conceive me? But when he brought that offering before the Lord, and he shed the blood of that animal, that was to be an atonement, a covering for his own sin. That was what made him righteous before the Lord. It is still the same way if you if you want to be righteous today. In Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. You know Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Ni tori pe emi arambe ni nweje. Emi siti fifu unyi la ti ma fiche tutu foka unyi lori kwe kwe ni. That is the faith that Abel had. He knew that he wasn't covered. He was exposed to the judgment of God. He was under the curse that came upon humanity. But then he knew the word. You may wonder how did he know the word since at that time the law of Moses had not been given. 
Ogun. Enu le ma ya o wi pe bawo lo se mo oro na ni won gba ti o je pe ni gba na ko ti fun won ni ofin Mose. I told very clearly in Romans chapter 2 and verses 14 and 15. Aso fun wa ni ona ti won kedere ninu iwe Romu ori keji ese ikeni lati ike dogo. Romans chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Romu ori keji ese ikeni la ati ike dogo. For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law these having not the law a law unto themselves which show the work of the law written in their hearts their conscience also bearing witness and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another nitori nigba ti awon keferi ti ko ni ofin ba se ohun ti o wa ninu ofin nipa eda awon won yi ti ko ni ofin je ofin fun ara won awon eni ti o fin pe a ko we ise ofin si won ni okan ti okan won si nje won ni eri ti ro won laarin won the Lord planted it in their heart, both Cain and Abel, that they needed to seek the face of God, they needed to make a sacrifice, they needed to reconcile with the Almighty God because they were separated from God. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 And almost all things are by the Lord purged with blood And without shedding of blood is no remission Without the blood of Jesus being shed on the cross of Calvary And without you holding to that, believing in that, having confidence in that your sins cannot be taken away. Lai si e je Jesu Christi ti ata sile lori agbele bu ni Calvary. Lai si pe o si tun gba gbon ninu re ki o di mu sise o ko le ri idariji gba. In 1 Peter chapter 1. Ninu we Peteru kin ni ori kin ni verses 18 and 19. Ese ikeji din logun ati ikokan din logun. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19. Peteru kin ni ori kin ni ese ikeji din logun ati ikokan din logun. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruption things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Ni won bi eyin ti mo pe a ko fi ohun ti di baje ra yin pada bi fadaka tabi wura kuro ninu iwa san yin ti eyin ti jogun lati oda won baba yin but of the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot bi ko se eje iye bi ye bi ti odo agutan ti ko ni abuku ti ko si ni aba won ani eje christi before you come right just today you have to come through the blood of Jesus Christ ki o to le je olododo loni oni lati wa ni pase je Jesu Christi you are born by falling parents and you yourself you have been a sinner from birth and by nature awon obi ti won subu ni won bi o iwo pelu nipa eda o je elese lati igba ibiwa the bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of god bibeli wi pe gbogbo eniyan ni o sa ti se ti won si kunogo olorun you as a person that came out of unclean parents you cannot be clean except you are washed in the blood of the lamb iwo ti a bi nipa se awon obi ti won ti subu o ko le je mimo lai ba je pe a fi ejo do agutan the only way you can come to the presence of God is to bring the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ that he made for you on the cross of Calvary. First Peter chapter 3 verse 18. For Christ also as one suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. Nitori ti Christi pelu jiya le kan soso nitori ese wa olooto fun awon alaiso to ki o le mu wa di odo Olorun eni ti apa ninu ara sugbon ti aso di aye ninu emi. He suffered for your sins. O jiya fun ese re the innocent for the guilty. Eni ti ko le ese jiya fun elese the righteous for the unrighteous. Olododo jiya fun alaiso dodo the perfect for the imperfect. Eni pipe jiya fun awon ti the clean, the spotless for the one that is dirty in the sight of God. The just for the unjust. That he might bring us to God. If you bring yam, if you bring maize, if you bring all those things that have been bringing in the place of a harvest, in those denominations, all that will never reconcile you to God. Because you are not 
si awon lesi won ni fun ikore bi o ba gbe lo sibe gbogbe eleyi ko le mu oba olorun laja if my good works are better than my bad works if my generosity is uh, great if my if i give things to beggars i do this and that all that cannot reconcile you to god nothing short of the blood of jesus can cleanse your sins away bi ise rere mi ba po ju ise buburu mi lo bi mo ba ni lawo si ti o tobi ti mo fun awon alagbe lowo ti mo ba je eni ti o lo yaya ti o si jo ninu re boye eleyi to sugbo wi pe eleyi ko tura ra gbogbo ododo wa bi akise legbin ni for those who want to be saved for those who want to be reconciled with god here is a declaration of the word of god fun awon ti won fe di eni igbala fun awon ti won fe ki amu oba olorun laja ohun ti oro olorun kede ni yi john chapter 1 from verse 29 ninu we joanu ori kin ni lati ese ikokan din logbon the next day john sees jesus coming unto him and said behold the lamp of god we take it away the sin of the world ni jokeji joanu ri jesu nba wa sodo re o wi pe wo odo agunto olorun eni ti o ko ese aye lo as abel brought this offering and sacrifice before the lord he was confessing that he was a guilty fallen creature far away from god bi abel ti mu ebo re wa si waju olorun o nje wo pe o nje da ti o di baje elese ti o je bi ti o si jinorere si olorun he accepted he acknowledged that he was worthy of death o mo daju o si gba wi pe o n to si ku by offering a lamb he was testifying that the only hope before god was to have a substitute taking his place and bearing the penalty that was due unto him as a guilty lost sinner ni pa fi fi odo agoto rubo o nti o nje wo ni pe ire ti o n wa ninu aropo ti o gba ipo o ti o si gba iya ti o to si o nje that's why he presented his offering by faith he didn't even fear about the sin and by god he believed that god will accept his land e yin ni pe o gbagbo pe olorun yo te wo gbo odo agutan ti o n pa that the shed blood of his sacrifice will meet all the requirements and the justice of god ati pe eje irubo re ti o ta sile yo to fun o nti olorun o nti olorun bere yo si tu idajo re loju abel te abel te sacrifice the spiritual man abel i je apere eni ti emi the one that is born again eni ti atun bi the one that is accepted and created a new in Christ Jesus eni ti atewo gba ti a si sodo tun ninu Christ Jesus abel is representative of those who accept that they are lost and done and helpless abel je asoju awon ti won gba pe awon ti sonu pe awon gbe ati pe awon je alai ni rewo abel represents the people that realize that their only hope lies outside of themselves in another one that is in Christ Jesus the perfect sacrifice abel mo pe ko si ire ti kan kan lati odo o nti kara o bi ko se lati odo elomiran o si je apera won to gbagbo pe ninu jesu christ e bo pe pe nikan ni igbala won wa abel represents the people that realize that they are lost and therefore they cast themselves upon the grace of god and the mercy of god crying be merciful unto me a sinner abel je apere awon ti o mo daju pe won ti sonu pata pata ti won si n kigbe ti won so fun to olorun wa wi pe olorun sanu po mi emi elese abel represents those who pin their faith to the atoning sacrifice of calvary abel je apere awon ti won so igbagbo awon mo ebo etutu ni calvary ti mo ti mo and the rest they are all both for time and for eternity on the redemptive work of christ on the cross ti won si ko gbogbo aye ati aye raye won le ise irapada ti agbelebu ti agbelebu ti won gbagbo ninu okan won pe igbagbo mi duro lori eje ati ododo jesu abel represents those people who can say it and believe it from their very hearts my hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness abel je apere awon ti o gbagbo lato kan wa wi pe igbagbo mi duro lori eje ati ododo jesu christ ni ko let's not look at the next point cain and his unacceptable sacrifice eje ke wa wo koko ti o kan eyi ni ni kaini ati ebo re ti ko se itewo gba we reading from genesis chapter 4 and verse 3 an ka lati ni we genesis ori kerin ese iketa and in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord o si se ni opin ojo won ni ti kaini mu ore ninu eso ile fun oluwa wa he brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord o mu ore ninu eso ile fun oluwa wa very clearly and very obviously his parents his friends adam and eve would have told him that god caused the ground after they fell ni ona ti won kedere 
daju daju awon obi re yo ti so fun pe olorun ti fi ile gegun leyin subu won abel took the fruit of that cursed ground and brought it an offering unto the lord abel wa kain ni wa mo ebo irugbin ti at ile ti a ti fi gegun yi to oluwa wa now let us realize so that with that cain was not an infidel cain was not an atheist he believed there is god la koko na e je ki o ye wa wi pe kaini ki se alaigbagbo ki si se ni ti o wi pe olorun ko si o ma daju pe olorun wa that means he wasn't a person that said there is no god anywhere god in creator he believed that god was supreme he believed that god was a creator he even believed that we are to worship god eyi ni ni pe kaini ko si ninu egbe awoye na ti o wi pe olorun ko si tabi wi pe ohun ko mo boye olorun wa tabi olorun ko si o gbagbo wi pe olorun wa idi ni to fi mu ebo wa he was ready to acknowledge the existence of god o se tan lati gba toko toko wi pe ni to to olorun wa he was even willing to worship God. The only problem with him is that he wanted to worship God in his own way, not in God's way. What is something about a sacrifice? It was a bloodless sacrifice. Do you remember the word of God? Without the shedding of blood, it's no remission, no removal of sin. Number two, a sacrifice consisted of the fruit of his own toil. Of the work of his own hands. And number three, a sacrifice was the fruit of the ground. He ignored the fact that the ground had been cursed by God. The Bible refers to Cain in various ways. Let's look at one of them in 1 John chapter 3 verse 12. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 12. Not as Cain who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. Ki ise bi kaini ti je ti eni buburu ni ti o si para kunrin re Cain is referred to as being a child of that wicked one. Atoka si kaini gege bi omo eni buburu ni He is referred to as a murderer. Atoka si gege bi apaniyo and where first lui him because his own works were evil and his brother's works righteous. In verse 15, whoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. There are many people that are acting like Cain today. Although they believe there is God, they even want to worship God. They even want to offer something to God. They even want to sacrifice unto God. For their sacrifice is the unacceptable sacrifice. The sacrifice that can make God to remove the curse and remove the shame and remove the sin and the guilt and condemnation and the wrath away from you is the sacrifice of the Lamb of God Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross of Calvary but many people are bringing sacrifices like that of Cain. They are bringing their good works. They say they are morally sound. They say they have never seen. They say they are better than other people. And they say that since they are better than other people, they don't need Jesus Christ to wash away their sins. Their good works will make them acceptable in the sight of God. In Jude verse 11, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. Woe unto them, there is no salvation for them. They have gone in the way of Cain. Woe unto them, they will be rejected by God like God rejected. Cain, they have gone in the way of Cain. They will be banished 
banished from the presence of God here on earth and banished from the presence of God in heaven. Woe unto them, they have gone in the way of Cain. In Proverbs chapter 15 verse 8. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination before the Lord. The only sacrifice that will be acceptable is that sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 12. Nino Jeremiah ori kenin la ese ikeji la Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 12 Jeremiah ori kenin la ese ikeji la When they fast I will not hear their cry and when they offer burnt offering and oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Nigba ti won ba gba we emi ki yo gbo ebe won. Nigba ti won ba ru ebo re sisun ati ebo re. Inu omi ki o do si won, ṣugbọn emi o fi da ati iyan god said as i rejected cain i will reject them as i rejected his bloodless sacrifice i will reject their sacrifice and offering if you want to be accepted by the lord stop offering the offering of cain and hey, my good words i've been obedient i keep the ten commandments all that for sin cannot at all Romans chapter 3 verse 20 Therefore by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his sight For by the law is the knowledge of sin Memorize the ten commandments and sin I will try my best I will turn over a new leaf. I will be doing good. I'll be doing well. And I will not step upon an earth. I'll be walking gently. I will control myself. By the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his eyes. <laughs> We can only come to God through the Lord Jesus Christ who made a perfect sacrifice for us. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 16. Nino Galatia Galatia chapter 2 verse 16. Galatia Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. That no matter how morally sound a person might be, I've never committed adultery, I've never committed fornication, I've never stolen anybody's property. Knowing this, that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Shagari, I don't fight with people, I'm gentle, I'm very kind, I go my way, I don't uh, get involved in anybody's problem. No, uh, no matter how righteous you think you are, how morally sound you think you are, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. I've been going to church since I was born. I've been in Sunday school. I won many prizes at the call quiz in our church. I did this, I did that. I laid the foundation of a church building. I give much money to bishop. I pay all my due in the church knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Knowing 
ki a mo pe a ko de ni kan ni lare ni pase ofin knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith in Christ not by the works of the law for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified ti a mo pe a ko de ni kan ni lare ni pase ofin bi ko se nipa igbagbon ninu jesu christi ani awa na gba jesu christi gbo ki a ba le da wa lare nipa igbagbon ti christi ki si se nipa ise ofin nitori pe nipa ise ofin ko si eniyan kan ti a o da lare Cain represents those people that turn their back on the blood of Jesus Christ. Cain ije apere awon eniyan won ni ti won kan yin won si eje Jesu Christi. Those who think that they can obtain salvation by the works of righteousness which they have done. Awon ti won ro wi pe won le ri igbalagba nipa ise ododo ti won ti se fun ra won. Cain represents those who think that the blood of Jesus and the sacrifice of Christ is unnecessary for them for salvation. Cain ije apere awon eniyan ti won ro wi pe eje Jesu Christi ati iru Cain is the father of the Pharisees who think that they can produce that which will merit divine esteem, divine approval, and divine acceptance, uh, acceptance by their own efforts. Cain ni baba awon Pharisee ti won ro pe awon le se ohun ti yo je ki won di eni afon le lorun nipa ilakaka ara won ti won ro pe olorun yo te won gba won yo si te won gba ise won nipa ododo ara won wo on to them they have gone in the way of Cain e gbe ni fun won nitori pe won ti tele ona Cain the way of Cain is to bring the fruit of a cursed ground ona Cain ni lati mu ninu eso ile ti a ti fi bu to offer your charitable works and your so called good deeds and and your good deeds and your hospitality and kindness and generosity as a redemptive price to save your soul you can never be saved through that way oni nipa mi mu lati nu eso ile ti a ti fi bu lati fi sebo gege bi ise nu rere re ati gbogbo ododo re ati o gbogbo ti o ro pe o dara nipa ti eniyan ti o mu wa lati fi je owe ra pada re sugbo eleyi ko le gbo la the word of god says all our righteousnesses are spilled the rags because of that god will not accept those who offer the produce of their cursed human nature oro olorun wi pe gbogbo ododo wa dabi akise legbe ni waju olorun nitori idi eyi olorun ko ni tewo gba awon ti won ba rubo lati ni eso eda eniyan ti ati fi bu the only offering the only sacrifice god will receive is that which is presented to him on the basis of the merits of his blessed son jesus christ our lord and savior ore eyi ti olorun yo tewo gba ore kan sojo ti o je tewo gba ni waju olorun ni eyi ti a mu wa nipa amuye omo olorun olubukun jesu christi oluwa wa in ephesians chapter 2 and verses 8 and 9 ninu we efesu orikeji ese ikejo ati ikesan for by grace are ye saved through faith nitori ore ofe ni ati fi gba yin la nipa igbagbo not by your gentleness by grace are ye saved ise nitori pe oje ni pele nipa ore ofe nikan ni ati gba o la not by your kindness and hospitality by grace are ye saved ise nitori pe oje oninu ore tabi eni ti o ran ni lowo ni not by giving arms to the beggars by grace are you saved ise ni tori pe o ma fun alagbe lowo ni pe ore ofe la fi gba o la i have been keeping all the 10 commandments that's not the thing by grace are you saved o fi mewe wa ni mo tin pa mo lati gba ta ti bi mi eleyi ko to ni pe ore ofe nikan la fi gba o la i been taking part in the abbess in our church i give him i give my property i build this i build that by grace are you saved gbogbo ikore ti won se ninu ojo wa ni mo nko pa ninu re mo si mu si wa mo mu gari wa mo mu agbado wa eleyi nikan ko ni a o se ni pori ofe nikan ni a fi ngba wala i've never known any woman apart from my wife i've never known any man apart from my husband that is not the salvation by grace are ye saved nko ti mo obirin mi ran ri bi ko se aya mi nikan be ni nko si mo okun nikan kan ri bi ko si oko mi nikan eleyi rara ko le se onko ni pori ofe nikan ni a fi ngba wala i never meet such church service i never miss pay my tithe all that is not the way of salvation it says by grace are ye saved through faith nko pa ipade kan kan je ri ninu ijo wa be si re ko si ojo ti won wa si waju oluwa lai mu ore tabi owo lowo eleyi nikan eleyi kon ni ona igbala ni pori ofe nikan ni a fi ngba wala grace are you say through faith ni pori ofe ni a fi gba yin la ni pa igbagbo when you turn away from your sin ni gba to ba yi pada kuro nu ese re you realize you are the guilty sinner for whom jesus died ti o si mo wi pe iwo ni elese to buruju na ti jesus ku fun you realize that all have sinned and come short of the glory of 
of God. Realize God is of pure eyes and to behold iniquity. You realize the soul that sinneth a child die. You realize the wrath of God, the judgment of God is abiding upon you. And you run to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing in my hand I bring, I clinch to the cross of Jesus. I only depend upon the grace of God. I will say, I will depend upon my obedience, upon my good works. I will be lost and I will go to hell. And in all humility and repentance, say, Oh Lord, I'm sorry because I brought this honor unto your holy name. Forgive me because Jesus died for me. Forgive me not because I'm good and bad, but Jesus is good. Forgive me not because I merit it, but Jesus merited it for me that I might be saved. Forgive me not because I'm better than other people, but because Jesus Christ, the holy and perfect one, died for me on the cross of Calvary. Forgive me not because of my self righteousness, which is filled with us. Forgive me because Jesus Christ is my substitute. He is my savior. He shed his blood for me on the cross of Calvary. Forgive me not because of my righteousness through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast not of works lest any man should boast this is what Cain missed he did not bring the right sacrifice he did not share the blood that will cover his sin he did not share the blood that will redeem his soul from the curse upon him he was rejected and his offering was rejected. Let's look, go back to Genesis chapter 4. We're looking at Cain's sins and punishment. I'm reading from verse 5. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect, and Cain was wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? If your sacrifice is good, will you not be accepted? If there is blood in your sacrifice to atone for your soul and cover your soul, will you not be accepted? If you if thou doest well and you come trembling and repenting and having faith in the substitute to take your place, will that not be accepted? Verse 4. If thou doest well like Abel your brother, and you come by faith and offer that sacrifice with blood by faith, will thou not be accepted? Accepted. And if thou doest not well, 
Be what could Bassi Sherry, if thou doest not well, be what could Bassi Sherry, if you have not brought the proper sacrifice, you could Bamu, a body and bury to that. If you have not come by faith, you could Bawa, believe that God, if you see that your sacrifice is not acceptable, your body, I could tell about a bore, sin that means the sin offering, a lamb is waiting, lies at the door. Go and do that, and there is a chance still waiting for you. A share ban yen wall, a yinipe, a brofresh, a beer drag with a fresh. Oh, I need to see red lodge to two yinis. And unto thee shall be his desire. Lord, or any fair, your mafia, and thou shalt rule over him. He was in my shallak was already. What that means is that Cain was now thinking, since God has accepted Abel and did not accept him, he had lost the privilege and the opportunity of being the first child, the firstborn. Auntie, a lady, too much. Cain was now thinking now that Abel has been accepted and Cain was not accepted Abel was going to be proud Abel was going to be deriding him was going to look down upon him was even going to be showing that he was superior to him that was what Cain was thinking Cain and so God was telling Cain, he said, no, Abel is not like that. Abel is a righteous one, is a humble one, and his sacrifice has been accepted. His desire will still be towards you. And if you go to do the right thing, you bring the right sacrifice, you will still rule over him. You are still the firstborn. The chance is still available for you. You can still bring the acceptable sacrifice and still retain the privilege of the first child. And thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and he slew him. Cain is a Abel is a brother, and he slew he added to his sin. He had envy in his heart. Jealousy in his heart. Anger in his heart. He was wrath and very furious. He had not offered the right sacrifice. Eventually, now he, he, he taught everything by killing his brother Abel. And the Lord said, unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thine hand. Genesis when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee a strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Nibati wabaro ile lati si se yilo ki yo fi akbara reso eso fun oma i sansa ati alani kiri ni wo ma jeni aye. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Cain isi wifun olu akwe i ya eshe mi po juwe yiti e mile ru lo. Now here we learn about Cain. Ni ni akben ke kwa ni kwa Caini. There are many people that are still going in the way of Cain today. O kwa lo kwa nwe nyeni wongri ni ona and they are adding sin unto sin. It starts in maybe in a very small way in their heart. That theme is start with a little resentment. Added to a little anger. Envy and jealousy will come into it. Eventually hatred will come. And he that hated his brother in his heart is a Murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. And many people that have hatred for their wives and they say they are born again, they have eternal life. The Bible says 
he that hateth his brother is a murderer and ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him awon okunrin ti won si ni ikori ra ninu okan won si aya won ti won si nfe no jawo pe awon ti di atun bi bibeli wi pe ki eyin ki o ma daju pe eni ti o ba kori ra lakunrin re apaniyan ni kosi si apaniyan kan kan ti o ni iya ni ke iya ni pe ko lati ma gbe nure there are many self deluded people and self deceivers that say i'm born again i'm born again they have jealousy they have envy they have anger they have hatred and bitterness and the bible says he that hateth his brother is a murderer ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him opolopo awon eleton ti won tan ara won je tabi ti awon elomi ran tan je ni o wa ti won penun jawo pe mo ti di atun bi mo ti di atun bi sibe ninu okan won won ni owu won ni ilara won ni oju kokoro won ni ikorira won si ni emi a ile dariji ninu okan won bibeli wi pe ki eyin ki o mo pe eni kan ni ti o ba kori ra kore re apaniyan ni kosi si apaniyan kankan ti o ni iya ni pe ko lati ma gbe inu re there some people that have been in the church before with us and now because something happened they left the church and it if they see the trapped of deeper life you will see the anger on their face they will tear it they will speak very angrily if they see any cassette they will burn it in fire they say i don't like it but i'm still born again i'm still a child of god he that hateth his brother is a murderer and ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in awon kan wa ti won wa ninu ijo wa ijo deeper life tele ti won ba wa wole wo de sugbon nitori ohun kan tabi omiran won wa pinu pe awon koni wa won koni ma wa won lei ti won si se ipinu yi ni bi kibi ti won ba ti ri iwe ipologo re ti deeper life won fa ya pere pere tabi ti won ri cassette deeper life won le ko sinu na ki won si so ki won sunu lu si me wa ma so pe mo ti di atun bi won ko ke parame eleyi ni sugbon bi be li wi pe ki eyin ki o mo wi pe eni ti o ba kori rara kori re apaniyan ni kosi si apaniyan kan kan ti o ni iya ni pe ko lati ma gbe inu re there are some people because of marriage i want to marry you and i will not marry you it is not the will of god i say it is the will of god no it is not the will of god because of, there's so much hatred there's so much bitterness they cannot see one another if one is coming this way the other will go the other way and they say thank god i'm still born again i'm sanctified i'm baptized in the holy ghost if you have hatred in your heart my friend you are a murderer and no murderer has eternal life abiding in him awon kan si wa ti o je wi pe ni ori e igboyawo pe mo ti mo ife olorun so nipa ti igboyawo ti enike jesus wi pe rara o ki kori be ti o si wa pe mo ma gbadura won ma da mi loju pe o to ni olorun dari mi ti o si pe rara kori be lati igba na won ki fi ojuri ara won ti kan ba nbo ni waju ti keji nbo leyin won agbo na eburu won ko ni fe ba rawo pade nitori pe ni gbagbo ti ba ti ri ara won ibinu ikorira ati ikoro kan yo ma so jade lati nu okan won o si ma fe ni je pe sibe e mo ti di atun bi mo ti ni so ti mo ti mo ti ni agbara mi mi won bibeli wi pe ki o mo daju pe eni ke ni ti o ba ni ikorira ninu okan re apaniyan ni kosi si apaniyan kan soso ti o ni iya ni pe ko lati ma gbe inu re there are those who because of i make you work i don't make you work eh because you didn't give me opportunity there's so much bitterness there's so much hatred and there is envy and jealousy what does so and so have that i don't have they made her a worker they didn't make me a worker and there is so much bitterness and hatred and malice in the earth and these people say i'm born again i'm sanctified i'm a child of god my friend he that hateth his brother in his heart is a murderer and ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him all that salvation you think you have when the trumpet sounds you'll be surprised there's no salvation there i want to see what nitori pe e je kin di o sise a fi o se o sise ti o si wa je pe an fa mara wa lowo ti wa di pe e fi mi se o sise lagbata e fi se o sise yi amuye ki lo ni tin ko ni lati gba na ikoro okan ikorira ati ibinu ati irunu wa nje lati nu okan sibe pelu gbogbo ibinu ati ikorira ati ikoro okan yi o tu ma fenu je wi pe mo ti di atun bi mo ti ni so di mimo mo ti ni agbara mimo sibe pe ba si den ta fi se o sise yi tabi en ti o ko lati fi o se o sise ibinu yo ma jade lati nu okan re bibeli wi pe ki eyin ki o mo wi pe apaniyan kan kan ki yo jogun ijobo olorun ati pelu pe eni kan ni ti o ba kori rara kori re apaniyan ni gbogbo ijewo ko ti ni igbala iso di mimo ati agbara mimo yi yo yo lenu pe nigba ti jesus ba de pelu ibinu ati ikoro okan ni okan re o ko ni le lo in ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 9 ninu iwe oni wa su ori keje ese ikeso be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry for anger rests in the bosom of fools ma se yara ni okan re lati binu nitori pe ibinu sin mi ni aya siwere and an angry person should remember that his father is king 
eni ti o ba nbinu gbodo ma ranti pe kaini oni baba o a person that is jealous and envious because somebody has got done well or a sacrifice or a suffering is accepted he has not been accepted because of that is bitterness and jealousy if that is in your life remember your father is king eni ti o ba fun fun owu ati ilara nitori pe enikan se rere a si tewo gba ati nitori pe ko se rere a ko si wa tewo gba o ki re ni be ma wi pe owu ati ilara yi pelu ibinu ati irunu ti oni ti oni nokan re ni o mu ki o di omo kaini in james chapter 3 from verse 14 in a way jacob ori keta ese ikerin la but if you are bitter and being and strive in your heart glory not lie not against the truth sugar bi eyin ba ni owu kikoro ati ija ni okan yin e ma se se fefe e ma si se se ke si otito this wisdom descended not from above it is earthly sensual devilish ogbon yi ki se yi ti o ti o ke so kale wa sugar ti aye ni ti ara ni ti emi esu ni for where envy and strife is there is confusion and every evil word nitori ibi ti owu o ija ba gbe wa nibe ni rudu rudu ati ise buburu gbogbo wa now eventually cain was banished away from the presence of god nigbo se ale kaini kuro ni waju olorun patapata punishment came upon him idajo ijiya wa sori re in matthew chapter 25 and verse 41 ninu we matthew ori ke dogbo ese ikokan le ni ogoji matthew chapter 25 from verse 41 matthew ori ke dogbo lati ese ikokan le ni ogoji remember that your sin cannot be hidden rati pe ese re ko le farase there may have been no human witness to cain's sin but the eyes of god have seen all that cain had done o le ma si eniyan kankan lati jeri si on ti kai ni se sugbo oju olorun ti ri ogbo ti kai ni se be not deceived god is not more ki a ma tan yin je akole kan olorun be sure your sin will find you out mo daju wi pe ese re ni yo fi ohun for where there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed neither hid that shall not be known nitori ti ko si ohun ti abo ti ki o fara ati eyi ti o fara sin ti aki yo mo after that divine inquisition comes the divine sentence or judgment upon the guilty one leyin wa di atorun wa yi ohun ti yo tele na ni idaju olorun lori eni to ba je bi punishment was held be for kai iji ya na po ju fun kai ni at the beginning when god was questioning him he was acting like was a very bold ni ibere nigba te lorun foro wa lenu wo o wu wa bi eni ti o gboju boya he said i don't know oni nko mo am i my brother's keeper oni se ilu ni olutoju arakunrin ni ni when judgment came he said my punishment is greater than i can bear sugbon nigba ti idajo de oni iya ise mi po ju eyi ti emi leru lo there are many people that are acting like kain today opolopa won eni won wu wa bi kai ni loni he say i don't care what god will do oni ko bikita ini yo wu ke olorun fi mi ro i will do what i like to do i will go the way i like to go on to ba wu mi ni won se loni ona to ba wu mi ni won ma to when that god comes and he wants to judge me he wants to put punishment on me i will argue with god i will argue my case i will tell him why i did what i did nigba ti olorun ni ba de lati be ere oro lowo mi lati da mi lejo won wi awija re won bo olorun yi ro jo edi ti mo fi se ti mo se kain is your father kain ni baba re remember kain that was how he was bold at the beginning si ro ti kain ni bo pelu se gboju boya ni bere ni yin judgment came he said my punishment is greater than i can bear sugbon nigba ti idajo na de oni iya ese mi poju eyi ti emi leru lo that will be the language of the lost in the lake of fire eyi ni yo si je gbolo awon ti won ba sonu sinu ina orun apade they will cry they will mourn and they will be suffering in for eternity and every time they will be saying i cannot bear it my punishment is greater than i can bear mo ki gbe won sofo won sokun won po rere ekun won ma ka ba mo titi aye raye ni orun apadi won si ma wi pe iya ise mi poju eyi ti mo le ru lo the lot of the unsay will be unbearable in hell fire ipin awon eni ti ko ni igbala yo je on ti ara ko le fara mo ni orun apadi and yet it will have to be endured and endured forever sugbon sibe won ni lati ma fara da lai ati lai lai he that believes on the son has everlasting life eni ti o ba gbo mo gbo oni iya ni pe ko he that believes not the son shall not see life but the wrath of god abideth on him ni ti ko ba gba omo gbo ki yo ri iye sugbon ibinu olorun be lori re matthew chapter 25 from verse 41 matthew ori ke dogbon lati ese ikokan le ni ogoji then shall you say unto them on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels nigba na ni yo si wi fun awon ti owo si pe 
e lo kuro lodo mi eyin eni ego sinu ina ai ni pe kun ti a ti pese sile fun esu ati fun awon angeli re verse 46 and these shall go away into everlasting punishment ese ikere de la dota awon won yi ni yo si koja lo sinu iya ai ni pe kun see in the passage we study today in genesis chapter 4 ori ninu ibi ti a ti keko lo ninu genesis ori kerin god asked Cain a question. Alone, Berry, Berry, Color, Kaini. In fact, more than one question. What is a G, Berry, Cosso? As we look at Genesis chapter 3 and 4, we see seven questions God is asking from man today. Be at him with Genesis, Yori Keta, at Yori Kerry, Ari, Berry, Major Pataki, Alone, Berry, Lawen, your Lunar one, where at the Iberia, Coco, Niboni, right? That is a question that is still coming to you from God. Near Shalei, Iberia, you can only own tall while at your dollar, where at the spiritually. Niboni, Wawa, Nipate. Have you been to the cross of Calvary? What you was it be at Bolebuni Calvary? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Have you been reconciled unto God? At him about Lolo Lajabi. Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you in God's garden of Eden? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you in God's garden of Eden? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you in that? Are you in that place where if the trumpet shall sound, you'll go away with the Lord? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you where God has put you? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you where God has put you? Where at the Niboni Wawa? Are you where God has put you? As a married person, where God put you and said you will be there till death do you part. Are you there today? Where at the Nibita Long Fiosi we put God in the kingdom of God where he has put you and he said, Be occupied until I come. Are you still there today? Where at the Nini is your Lord Nini Job alone if I shall take Billy Allah to see a mash with Timmy of the Shows in Shaloni Nibi Wawa. They are not there, what happened to you? Because I was in the kilo you saw eating of the tree whereof I come. Commanded you that should us eat not. He was at the end of the game. He knew he didn't move for the work of God. Have you touched the untouchable? What if I want to go to the Have you taken the forbidden thing? What if I oh my God, the tower will have you got gotten into the pleasure where God said you will not defile your flesh, you will not defile yourself with that kind of pleasure? What if one know if I could fetch your queen? I don't tell us to be called God. One will be really bad, no baby. Or maybe you are the tempter that has tempted Adam, tempted another person to do that thing. Tabi, one day. And the Lord is asking you, What is this that thou hast done? We put you in charge of that place and say, Take care of them and keep them and do not allow them to go into sin. But you are the one that tempted them to go into sin. What is this that thou hast done? I see you one, you can't my budget, you can't my shash, you can't my jacket, you can't my shake, you can't my power, you can't my shake, 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 you can not my shake 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 Maybe you should have gone out to reach out to them in evangelism and bring them into the kingdom of God. You are not doing it. Where is thy brother? This month is running past by. The first month of this year is going. What hast thou done? 
Let's rise up on prayer. You talk to the Lord in prayer today. How do you stand before the Lord today? Are you like Cain? You don't believe in Jesus. You are trying to offer the fruit of your hands. You think your good works is what will give you salvation. That is not doing well. If you want to offer an acceptable sacrifice, you call upon the Lord Jesus Christ is that part perfect, innocent, holy, acceptable sacrifice. Only Jesus can say. Only Jesus can say. Only Jesus can say. It's a sacrifice, acceptable sacrifice. It's the blood of Jesus that can wash you whiter than snow. You are repenting. Not believing upon the Lord. Trusting in the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you. Only that lamp of God takes away the sins of the world. If you have not been born again, you can call upon the Lord today and be born again. You can call upon the Lord to wash you with the blood of Jesus. Your good works will not save you. Your generosity will not save you. Your giving money to the beggars will not save you. Offering the fruit of the ground will not save you. And all the things that you are doing by self, I come to church, I go to church, I pay my tithe, all that will not save you. By the deeds of the law shall no man be justified in the sight of God. By the deeds of the law shall no man be justified in Side. You come before the Lord, repenting of your sin, calling upon the name of the Lord, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, holy out to the cross of Jesus, holy out to the sacrifice of Jesus, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can find salvation only in Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He the lamp of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Oh, go to Allah, no, and it's your question, ye Lord. Behold the lamp of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Oh, go to Allah, no, and it's your question, ye Lord. Look at Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I believe. Look, Look at the Lord of Jesus wanting to cover your sin. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's your question, am I right? It is the blood of Jesus that has been given to make atonement for the soul. Oh, Jesus Christ, you can't even be allowed to share to to walk on. How can you be saved? But what does your only through Jesus. How can you be born again? Only through Jesus. How can you have eternal life? Only through Jesus. How can you become righteous before the Lord? Only through Jesus. 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 Only are you angry like Cain? Are you furious like Cain? Are you jealous like Cain? Are you getting angry and keeping malice like Cain? Are you contemplating to destroy your brother, destroy your sister like Cain? Why are you angry? Why is thy countenance falling? Why is thou 
has done well will that not be accepted if you have not done well the sin offering is still lying at the door if you have not done well jesus christ is still waiting for you to save you he can save you today he can sanctify you today he can baptize you in the holy ghost today he can change your life today he can give you the mind of christ today you can write your name in the book of life today if you have not done well you can still do well if you didn't trust in the lord jesus christ before you can trust in the lord jesus today you can come to take jesus as your savior today he can bear your punishment for you he can bear your guilt for you he can wipe away your sin for you all those secret sin that you think nobody knows about it, God knows about it. You, you cannot hide your sin. 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 Everything is open before the Lord Almighty. You can come before the Lord. He knows your heart. He knows your life. He knows that anger. He knows that anger. He knows that anger. He knows that fury. He knows that malice. He knows that jealousy. He knows that envy. He knows that hatred you have in your life. You can come before the Lord. You can tell him to cleanse you. You can tell him to transform you. You can tell him to change you. He can do it today. 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 It is the blood of Jesus that makes atonement for the soul. It is the blood of Jesus that makes atonement for the soul. The blood of Jesus. 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 Jesus. If you want to have peace with God, if you want your name in the book of life, it's the blood of Jesus. 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 It can wash away my sin. It can wash away my sin. It can wash away my sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing in my hand I bring. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. The Lord can forgive you today. The Lord can save you today. The Lord can change your life today. The Lord can renew you today. The Lord can write your name in the book of life today. The blood of Jesus. 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 will wash you whiter than snow. The blood of Jesus. 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 There will be no anger again. There will be no anger again. There will be no malice again. There will be no hatred again. There will be no jealousy again. There will be no envy again. There will be no evil habit again. There will be no evil habit again. There will be no fury anymore. 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 Your life will change. Everything will become new in your life. You will have eternal 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 life. Everlasting life will be yours. Everlasting life will be yours. Everlasting life will be yours. You will not be like Cain anymore. Rejected by God. Cursed by God. For the blood of Jesus will make you to come in the presence of God. Why don't you pray and pray it through? Why don't you pray it and pray it through? Until you have a witness in your heart, you have become righteous through the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. Why don't you pray and pray it through?